In this video we're going to take a look at applying a border to this picture and I must be honest it's going to be a very informal type of border. In fact it's going to be a triptych but we can change, we can adjust it right the way through. The first thing you need to do is make sure you got the default colors that is black as the foreground, white as the background. Press D on the keyboard if you've got any other colors that will restore the default. Right, over to the Layers panel, we're going to put a new empty layer above our background layer and to do that just bring your cursor up to the Create New Layer icon, click on that, in it goes, Layer 1. You can see it's an empty layer, we got this checkerboard background. But we're going to fill this with white, we're going to go to Edit, we're going to go down to a Fill Layer and when Fill Layer opens, Content, Use from the drop down menu where you've got these various options, just go down to White, click OK to that and there it is. Right, for the next stage we're going to put in another new empty layer, layer 2. Bring in our cursor across to the toolbox. If you just bring it over to the brush tool you'll notice it is brackets B. So B is the shortcut for the brush tool so just try pressing B on the keyboard. We're going to go down to the tool options and we're going to select a brush. Clicking on this we've got the default brushes, a bit difficult to see here because it is off the screen. I'm going to bring my brush anywhere into this area, try right clicking and there it is, there's the, all the various brushes we've got and the one I'm going to select is going to be, in fact I think I've already got it, yeah I've, yep, 59 pixel, the spatter brush, this is the one we're going to be using. So I'm going to click on this but it's worth trying any of these brushes. So there's our brush, pressing enter or return will remove that panel, now at the moment it is a very small brush in a very large area of white but if we come down to the tools options the size we can take this up by clicking on the slider here let's take it to that size but you can also use the square brackets on your keyboard the right hand square bracket will make the brush bigger the left hand square bracket will make the brush smaller and you might have seen the slider moving uh, as we use those square brackets Right, there's some other changes we're going to make because at the moment if I just click down, drag it across, that's the type of effect we've got with this particular brush. We're going to go down to the brush settings, clicking on the brush settings where we got the fade, the hue jitter, the scatter. The scatter we're going to take up, we're going to take it to this area here and you'll notice the way it's looking a bit like a, well I suppose a hairy caterpillar. And if we come down to space and if you take the space and up to this sort of area here we've now got a load of little spiders but we're going to bring this back. Let's take it to that area there. What have we got? We got 18%. That looks pretty good. Click on the little cross. Press enter or return. We'll remove that. Now if we take a look at the brush that's the type of effect that we get with it. Right, I'm going to use Command Z or Control Z to undo that using Command Z or Control Z one more time to remove the first one we did. I'm going to remove the tool options. I'm going to come roughly to the center, I'm going to click down, I'm going to come across like that, I'm going to drop down, and I must be honest, this is a little bit of a blast from the past. It's, well, I think I first did this uh, tutorial, it was a written tutorial, and I did a couple of those before doing a video tutorial on it but recently one of the members of my website Doreen entered one of the assignments and she used this technique and I thought wow got to revisit it so thanks Doreen and if we just fill in the rest doesn't matter about all the white bits you can have white bits showing entirely up to you in fact you can make it look pretty scruffy something like this I suppose is pretty scruffy. Right, next we've got the brush tool, we're going to change this for the move tool. Now the move tool shortcut is V on the keyboard, so try pressing V, that's going to change it to the move tool. We're going to go to tool options, make sure you got the auto select layer, that is pretty handy when it comes to this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate layer 2. Now to do that use command J or control J, that's command J, control J. We have just duplicated it, we have now got layer 2 copy. We're going to go to image, transform, free transform the shortcut, Command T or Control T, so we're going to click on this, we're going to move this across to the side, something in that area that would be pretty good. Now with the Transform tool we can make some changes, we can make it a little bit thinner if you want to, you can make it a little bit wider, you can uh, make it taller, you can make it well, any shape you want, you can even 
skew it round a little bit if you want to as well. Entirely up to you. This is going to be a very informal border indeed. Right, double click into apply. Clicking on the first one, this is where the auto select comes in. We've now gone straight back to layer 2. Once again, Command J or Control J to duplicate the layer. Command T, Control T, don't forget, was the transform tool. We can click, we can drag this out into this area here. In fact, let's just move it in a bit. Let's make it a little bit thinner by clicking, moving that into that area there. Double click into apply. Let's click on this one. Command T, Control T, and I'm just going to make this a bit thinner. This time I'm going to press Alt or Option to bring it in from both sides. So hold in Alt or Option, we'll redo that from both sides and just pulling it down. Job done. Looking pretty good so far. Honest. Right, let's go to the top layer of the layer stack. We're going to go to layer. We're going to drop down to merge down. Now, once again, there's the shortcut Command E or Control E. Click on that. We've now merged it down. You'll notice the way the layers are looking. We're going to use Command E, Control E one more time. So we've now got the three on the one layer. Command E, Control E one more time. It's now all dropped down into the layer one. The next thing we need to do is to be able to see the image underneath. After all, that is the object of this. So to do that, we've got black. We need to lighten these up. And there's a bit of a clue. Under the blend mode, let's try lighten. We can now see the image. You can also try screen. That looks better. We can now see those little bits that we left in on the picture. If you bring your cursor over the image again, just press B. Don't forget B was the shortcut for the brush tool. You can see the areas we got down here. I'll press X on the keyboard, so we've now got white as our foreground color. And I'm just going to paint in a little bit more space. And you can see the way I can just come down. I can paint over this area like this if I press X on the keyboard. So we've now got black. I can just bring that down a little bit. I can fill in some of these little bits and pieces we've got here. I can come in and just paint that in as well if I want to. Right, coming over to this one, pressing X on the keyboard. We can paint in a bit more of a gap down the side with this one using white. Pressing X on the keyboard, we've now got black. I can just fill in that. I can just press X. Just wanted to remove that bit there. Just spotted that as I was working across. Let's take the corner off a little bit. In fact, let's drop it down into that area there. You can see we, the way we can make this one look shorter. In fact, I'm going to do the same on this side as well. Just leaving that little bit of a rough edge looks pretty good. Pressing X, so we've now got black. And I'm just going to fill in a little tiny touch on the bottom. And there it is. There's our rather informal style border. You can fill in some of these little spots as well if you want to, just to see some more of the picture. Just make it a little bit clearer. It's entirely up to you, though. And there it is. Job done. Or is it? That's a triptych. What if you want this just for a framework? Well, all you need to do is just paint over the lot, just coming over like this. In fact, don't forget those uh, shortcuts. The right-hand square bracket is going to make the brush bigger. Now, if we come over it, we can just paint in these areas here, just very, very quickly going over that. And there it is. There's our framework now, just around that area. Or using Command Z, Control Z, because I did quite like that. We're going to go back to this one. The choice is yours. Experiment with the brushes. Experiment with how many panels you're using. You don't have to have three. You can have four. You can have two. However many you want. But go on. Have a bit of fun with it. Until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.